baby quiet. Hi, baby. We've seen it, him, her kick about here. I think she's probably quite excited. She loves having a baby. As excited as you are. Did you know that scientists have estimated that there are around 8.7 million animal species on Earth? Across the globe, you can find unique animals that exhibit truly remarkable and bizarre features and behaviors. Some of them look like hybrids of other creatures, but some of them are animals that look like nothing anywhere else in the world. So let's see the 10 unique animals you won't believe exist. Number 10. Sparkle Muffin If you don't think of spiders as cute and cuddly, then you've never met Sparkle Muffin. Less than a quarter inch long, male peacock spiders are known for their bright colors and flashy mating dance. These colors, like the vibrant red and blue of sparkle muffin stripes, make it easy to tell the difference between species. Many female peacock spiders, though, look alike, even to the males. 53 species of peacock spiders, which are found only in Australia, have been named so far. But photographer Jurgen Otto thinks many more are waiting to be discovered. Because not many scientists are studying these spiders, he says photographers and nature lovers will probably be the ones to find new spiders. Number 9. Jabiru Stork The Jabiru Stork holds the title of the largest flying bird of the Americas. It grows 4 to 5 feet tall and has a wingspan of 9 to 12 feet. The glaring, dark stare of the 5 foot tall stork can be a frightening thing for the weary traveler. These mesmerizing birds can exhibit territorial tendencies as seen in an infamous incident that occurred at the Belize Zoo. That stork's exhibit now features a roof above the visitor's viewing platform after a Jabiru stork once tried to stab unsuspecting patrons with its 14-inch long bill. Jabiru storks are native to Central and South America, where they typically feed on small mammals, fish, and amphibians. Number 8. Shoebill Shoebills are abnormally tall, with some individuals reaching heights of over 4 feet. And unlike many other birds who inhabit similar marsh environments, shoebills are highly effective predators. Their long legs are perfect for traversing shallow waters, where they prey on reptiles, rodents, and fish. They are even known to strike against juvenile crocodiles. The species is named for its clog-shaped bill, which is an adaptation for catching and holding the large, slippery lungfish, its favorite food. They are entirely gray, with broad wings and long legs. The head is large in proportion to the body, and the eyes are also exceptionally large. The shoebill claps the mandibles of its bill together as a display, producing a loud, hollow sound. Number 7. Glass Frog Glass Frog is the common name for amphibians belonging to the family Centrolodinae, so named for their translucent abdominal skin. Actually, just as you can see through glass, you can see through this extraordinary frog as well. Many of these frogs have lime green skin, but some lack any coloration on their underside, making their organs visible to the naked eye. Equally amazing are their spotted backs, which scientists speculate are meant to resemble eggs, so predators going after their offspring get confused. Your best chance of spotting these tree-dwelling frogs is in Costa Rica or Panama. Costa Rica's Tortuguero National Park in particular promises a good chance of seeing one in all its transparent glory. Number 6. Mantis Shrimp The mantis shrimp is a small, aggressive marine crustacean that inhabits tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans between eastern Africa and Hawaii. They are pretty and vibrant in color, but also deadly, able to club prey with the force of a bullet or spike them with their sharp claws. Despite their namesake and relatively puny stature, mantis shrimp aren't shrimp at all. They are stomatopods, distant relatives to crabs, shrimp, and lobsters. There are around 450 species of mantis shrimp worldwide, and their colors range from shades of brown to bright green, red, and blue. The most infamous species is the peacock mantis shrimp and is one of the larger, more colorful mantis shrimps commonly seen. And the most interesting thing is that they are older than dinosaurs. Stomatopods began evolving independently from other crustaceans nearly 400 million years ago, about 170 million years before the first dinosaurs appeared on the scene. Since they have followed an isolated evolutionary lineage that resulted in some of their more unique characteristics. 
Their biology is so bizarre that scientists have assigned them the nickname Shrimp from Mars. Number 5. Axolotl Axolotl might be the cutest thing you have ever seen. Shrouded in mystery and defying typical biological laws like metamorphosis, the axolotl, a type of salamander, keeps its webbed feet firmly in place in infancy throughout its life. Unlike other salamanders, axolotls are neotenic, meaning they keep juvenile characteristics into adulthood. The axolotl remains aquatic their entire life. Though it develops functional lungs, it uses its fancy, feathery gills to breathe underwater. Like youngsters, they retain external gills, a tail, and a body fin, and lack movable eyelids. They even have superpowers. Axolotls are dark-colored and can shift their hue a few shades lighter or darker as needed for camouflage. Pink and light-colored axolotls are bred by humans as pets for their pleasing shades. They are also used in laboratories to study another superpower, regenerating their limbs, lungs, heart, jaws, spines, and even parts of their brain. Scientists have found that axolotls can regrow a new limb five times perfectly in a few weeks without even a scar. Every tissue is replaced, skin, bone, cartilage, muscle, and stem cells. Other organs can regenerate countless times and be completely functional. Naturally, scientists would like to harness that ability and apply it to human medicine. It is said that axolotls are over 1,000 times more resistant to cancer than mammals, another superpower worth investigating. An axolotl can reach 18 inches in length, but nowadays grows to about 9 inches. Axolotls are dark colored with greenish modeling. Some may have silvery highlights on the skin. It has a broad, flat body with a large head donning its signature feathery gills waving gently in the water. Its mouth is often bent into a slight grin or is otherwise expressive. Round, dark eyes with yellow iridescent irises take in its murky environment. It has lizard-like limbs that carry it along the lake bottom. It weighs about as much as a can of soup. In a pinch, the axolotl can move an astonishing 10 miles per hour. Number 4. Blue-Footed Booby Blue-Footed Boobies are named after their bright blue feet. The bird's feet are so blue because of the cartinioid pigments that they get through their foot are concentrated in their feet. Like other boobies, bluefoots nest on land at night. When day breaks, they take to the air in search of seafood. Sometimes fishing in cooperative groups, they may fly far out to sea while keeping a keen eye out for schools of small fish such as anchovies. When their prey is in sight, these seabirds utilize their physical adaptations that make them exceptional divers. They fold their long wings back around their streamlined bodies and plunge into the water from as high as 80 feet. Blue-footed boobies can also dive from a sitting position on the water's surface. Blue-footed boobies also use their webbed feet to cover their young and keep them warm. When a typical brood of one to three chicks hatches, both parents feed and care for them. All half dozen or so booby species are thought to take their name from the Spanish word bobo, the term means stupid, which is how early European colonies may have characterized these clumsy and unwary birds when they saw them on land, their least graceful environment. Number 3. Kinkajou The kinkajou is the only known tree-dwelling mammal unrelated to primates. Kinkajous are nocturnal and arboreal, which means that they are most active at night and rarely come down out of the trees. They have huge eyes for seeing in low light and rely on exceptional senses of hearing and smell to navigate at night. They have nimble clawed fingers and fully reversible hind feet that are slightly webbed, all the better for getting a good grip. Their bodies are elongated and they have extremely flexible spines, so they can maneuver easily among branches. They use their long prehensile tails for balance as they move gracefully and deliberately through the treetops. They often hang upside down from their tails while feeding. Kinkajous primarily eat fruit. They may supplement their diet with insects and nectar and can use their extra-long tongues to get both. Kinkajous are considered active seed dispersers and possibly pollinators as well. They ingest large quantities of seeds and when they eat fruit, which passes through their digestive systems, mainly intact and is then deposited. When kinkajous feed on nectar, they get a face full of pollen, and they then disperse it to other plants. Number 2. Parrotfish 
You can find parrotfish in tropical reef environments where they use their external teeth, which look like a beak, to break algae off rocks, coral, and another hardened substrate. This ability allows them to carve out a living in places where many other species cannot survive. Parrotfish can be variations of red, green, blue, yellow, gray, brown, or black. The parrotfish is a daytime creature. At night, it burrows in the sand or hides in crevices. Some species even secrete a clear mucus cocoon around themselves at night, which probably masks their scent and helps protect them from predators like sharks and moray eels. There are about 60 species of parrotfish that live in reefs all around the world, but they all generally live about 5 to 7 years and grow to 1 to 4 feet in length. They typically feed during the day and sleep by wrapping themselves in a safety cocoon made of mucus or by finding a hiding place in the coral at night. Number 1. Okapi Can't decide if you'd rather see a zebra or a giraffe? Why not see an animal that looks like a crossbreed of both? The okapi is the only living relative of the giraffe, but features the distinctive black and white markings of the zebra on its hind quarters and front legs. Its nickname? Well, the zebra giraffe, obviously. This endangered animal is leery of humans and hard to find. So much so that scientists didn't discover the okapi until 1900. It lives in the Ituri Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but travelers can't access this area. Instead, head to the White Oak Conservation Center in Florida, which focuses on the conservation of okapi, and book a tour led by a wildlife expert. Which animal did you like the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.